Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. If you are curious about this lovely dark side look on my face, I'm actually wearing the Star Wars and ColourPop collab on my eyeballs and lips today. I just filmed that video. It should have gone up right before this one, so I will link that below if you're interested in checking that one out. Today, I'm gonna be sharing my Sephora haul, my spring slash early summer Sephora haul. I don't know what time of year we're considered. It's literally May, but there's snow outside my window, so I'm not really sure how we feel about that. I thought it would be fun to sit down and share my semi-annual haul with you guys, so let's get into it. When I tell you I did nothing but shop at Sephora during my California trip, I did nothing but shop at Sephora during my California trip. I am gonna quick share what I picked up from the ColourPop and Star Wars collection. This just launched at Ulta yesterday, so I had to pick it up so I could review it. I'm not gonna go into too much depth because I am going to be going over all those products in my Star Wars video, or I guess I did go over all of those products because this video is coming out after. Um, but for starters, we got the palette. This is the gorgeous Star Wars and ColourPop collab palette. I actually really like this. I think it's very interesting. You have the dark side colors, the neutral or like good side colors, and I just feel like it's so fun and it is what I'm wearing on my eyes, so I enjoy that. I also got the two Jelly Much shadows. We love a good Jelly Much shadow. I got the lipsticks, which have the cute little Darth Vader packaging. This one is actually the bright red that I'm wearing today. Very fun. Also, these have like little stars on them and they're so pretty. I love them. And then I also got the two glosses. These have the little stormtroopers on them. Super fun. So a few of the items are actually things I picked up during the VIB sale literally a month ago and I never hauled them on my channel. So let's go ahead and share those two. This is the Melt Gemini palette, the original Gemini palette that was brought back. I actually really like this. Sorry, I'm blinding you all with my light. I really like this palette. It is so fun. I love the grungy neutrals and then the packaging. Stunning. We love a good packaging moment. And I also picked up the Gemini 2. I did review this one on my channel already, so I will link that one as well. Very pretty color story. One of my favorite everyday palettes lately. The last thing I picked up from the VIB sale is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Vitamin C Spray. I really like the All Nighter and I really wanted to try this. And honestly, I've been using this for like a month now and I can confidently say I like it a little bit more than the regular All Nighter. It smells really good and it makes my skin feel so fresh. Now we can go ahead and jump into my massive Sephora and Sigma haul. So first up, we had to get the Bridgerton 2 palette. I loved watching Bridgerton. I love Pat McGrath. This just seems like the perfect go-to move for me. I haven't used this one yet. I did get the original Bridgerton palette that they did and I loved that one. So I wanted to get this one as well. I haven't actually played around with it yet, yet, but I really do like these tones. This blue shade and this green gold, chef's kiss. I'm very excited about this one. I've literally just had it sitting in my bag because I've been meaning to film this haul for literally three weeks. I got a lot of eyeshadow this trip, which if you've been anywhere near my channel, you know, is very unbranded for me. I also picked up the Patrick Todd. This is the Major Dimension 2 palette. This is more the rosy one. This was the first time I tried the Patrick Todd formula and I really actually enjoy it. My one complaint about this palette so far is I just feel like the shimmers don't pull true to tone. They all pull a little bit lighter on the eye, but overall, I really like this palette so far. I've really enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see a video using this palette because I know that it's definitely been a popular one right now. I did go a little ham with the One Size Beauty products. I hadn't tried One Size Beauty until this launch, so I did pick up some of the bronzer and blush trios. The first is the bronze and sculpt in the shade Light. I really, really like this one. Actually, I'm kind of obsessed with it. And the little embossing, like the smiley faces on the pans are just so cute. I love the colors of this. Normally, I feel like I go for more of the medium. I am pretty fair, but I just like a really good bronze shade, but these just complement my skin tone so well. I think the formula is gorgeous. They blend easily and you can mix and match the different shades in there or you can use them on their own and they will look divine. And in addition, I also picked up two of the blushes. You know, I'm a blush type of gal. The first one is Freaky Peach, which is of course just peachy. You have a cream blush um, and then a matte and shimmer blush. I actually really like mixing the matte and shimmer together in this palette. I think it looks gorgeous on the skin. 
And then the other shade I got is in Firestarter. And this one is orange. There was just something about having an orange blush in my collection that really appealed to me. I haven't had an orange blush before and it's gorgeous. I actually think it could have gone good with this look today, but I didn't, didn't think to use it. But again, we have the cream, the matte, and the shimmer blush. I love these so much. I definitely think these are going to be in my top favorites at the end of the year. I have the Hourglass Setting Spray. I actually picked this up at Ulta when I picked up my REM Beauty products for reviewing REM Beauty video that I did uh, about a month ago now. And I have been trying this on and off. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. It was a little bit pricey. I think it was like $40 for the setting spray. I used points on it, so I didn't feel that bad. But I don't know. I am using it today. I like the the dewiness it gives my skin, but I'm just not sure it makes it as long lasting as like the all nighter, but why not? I cleaned out my face products. I feel like I deserve a setting spray. Speaking of face products, I have the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I tried so hard to get my hands on this. I actually had to order it online once they restocked the shades. Mine is in the shade 14W. This is what I was color matched to at Sephora. I wouldn't typically go for a warm tinted moisturizer on myself, but they are very sheer and I felt like it matched pretty good. So I am excited to try this one out. I've only used it once so far and I loved the one time I did use it. So I'm going to be pulling this one out a lot this summer to play with, but that is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. From the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection, I did pick up two lippies. The first one is in the shade Entranced. And this is just a really pretty kind of deep mauve shade. This one is in the shade New Romantique 2. And honestly, when I've used this, it is literally the same exact color as my natural lips. So I've been using this primarily for no makeup makeup days where I want my lips to look a little bit dewy, but still have my same color. And of course, the packaging of this is so cute. You have the little bows. I love the colors. Pat McGrath just does it right every time, let me tell you. I did pick up a Charlotte Tilbury quad. Like I said, I kind of went all out during the VIB sale and in my vacation, but this is the Walk of No Shame quad. It is the first time I've tried Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. I did use this one a little bit while we were still in California, and I actually really liked the quality. I like that these are kind of satin shades, so all the looks that you do with this is pretty much just like a one and done type look. Like, you can't really do much of a variety of looks. There's only four shadows, so there's only so much you can do. But they are all satiny or shimmer shades, and because of that, all the looks just look so glowy and so beautiful. And the colors are just so fun. I love rosy tones, and I actually really like this so far. Again, it was a little bit of a hefty uh, purchase, but YOLO. Of course, is it really a Sephora haul without the Dior Powder No Powder? Samantha March actually talked about this one a lot on her channel, and because of that, I bought it, and I love it. It is the best powder I've ever owned. I got mine in the shade 0N, or 0 Neutral. It is the same shade as my Dior foundation. I think it's like the fairest shade and I really like this. It smells fresh. It gives you a nice matte glow. I actually really like it. In fact, you can tell I've been using it pretty frequently and I'm starting to rub off the Dior on the actual pan, like the embossed Dior. Such a holy grail in my collection right now. I don't know what I would do without this. I picked up the ABH Norvina what is this? Volume five. There's five of these. Actually, I think she just came out with a new one that's like volume six or something like the black rainbow one. I'll be honest, none of these palettes really spoke to me. But the purples in this, girl, the purples in this are stunning. I love the selection of mattes. I actually really like the shimmers. It reminds me a lot of the ABH Norvina palette, like the velvet cover. But this one is like, what that one wanted to be just a little bit better you have more of a selection of colors you have a lot of the same tones as the original norvina palette definitely did not need this i definitely did not need this this was an impulse buy but i love her i should not be allowed to have adult money because i just buy stuff i also picked up the huda beauty color block obsessions in the shades blue green i thought about reviewing this one on my channel i'm not really sure if i'm going to anymore just because the hype around this has kind of died down a little bit but i do really like the colors i have not tried this one yet i do have this one set aside to try hopefully later this week but i am very excited to try around with these colors and this is just giving me like 90s vibes it's just it's rubber the cover's rubber and it's it's 
sticks up. So very interesting. That is all I picked up from Sephora. But while we're at it, we also have a Sigma Beauty haul. I did pick up the Sigma New Mod Collection. I did review it on my channel. I will link all the corresponding videos to any of the products that you're seeing in today's video in the description below if you're interested. First item in the New Mod Collection is the gorgeous brush set. It's this beautiful velvet bag. And then we have the most beautiful brushes you've ever seen. They have little gold details on the end. It's like a rose gold to gold ombre. The Sigma brushes are absolutely my favorite brushes in the entire universe. You have three eye brushes, two face brushes, and then I also have the brush that you got in the New Mod palette itself, one of these dual-ended little guys. And I love these. If you haven't tried Sigma, you are definitely missing out. I highly suggest. And in addition, I also picked up a new E33 brush. These are my absolute favorites. I love these things to death. They're the perfect crease tapered blending item. There's also two lippies in this collection, a liquid lipstick in the shade New Mod and a gloss in the shade Passionate. I love both of these. I've been using them a little bit on and off over the past couple weeks. They had a, a deal where you could buy a couple palettes and get a discount. And um, we all know how I feel about getting discounts. So of course we have Miss New Mod. She is gorgeous. She's giving ABH realness. She has this beautiful, I can never remember the name for this, like Argoyle, the diamonds. Uh, beautiful velvet embossing and these tones are just stunning. I love a good rose gold and berry moment. Highly recommend. The formula of this is chef's kiss. Impeccable. We love. And then the last item to talk about in my very extensive haul is the Sigma Enchanted palette. I did get, they had a set with the new mod and the Enchanted palette. I can't remember what the discount was, but I remember it being a fairly good deal, which is why I decided to just get the duo because I had been considering the Enchanted palette for a while. We have this beautiful holographic reflect cover. Here is the Enchanted palette in all her glory. I love these like duo chromey shifty shades. They're just so pretty. Sigma shimmers really just are something else. They're so good. So I did have to pick this one up as well. Well, that is all for today's video, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you've picked up recently and if you're loving it or not. I always love to see what other people are picking up in their collections. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, friends.